Now a News 5 crime alert. A case of animal abuse is under investigation tonight. It's hard to believe. A teenager accused of pouring camping fuel on a dog and setting it on fire. News 5's Pat Peterson has the story. The crime that happened inside this vacant mobile home on Little Rock Road in Foley is heartbreaking and horrific. These type of crimes are something that we go after pretty hard. Police say a teenager poured camping fuel on a stray dog, threw the animal inside a closet, and set the dog on fire. If somebody that, that does this to an animal, uh, you know, uh, will be prosecuted to the extent of the law. Uh, there's no excuse for doing something like this to a harmless animal. The dog only had a few minor burns or visible injuries, but police took the stray pit bull mix to a local vet for examination. The dog was fully alert, had no respiratory issues associated with smoke inhalation, things that you'd be worried about in a fire victim, um, and was well hydrated, had no obvious external injuries that truthfully needed immediate treatment at the time. So the dog was released back to police custody. But a few days later, the dog developed a severe infection and had to be euthanized. 19-year-old Jabari Stotts is charged with felony aggravated animal abuse and criminal trespass. It's awful. I mean, there's there's no two ways about it. I mean, this was a, uh, you know, a good young dog. Apparently, I mean, the dog was obviously scared uh, when it came here for the initial examination. It it had been through a pretty traumatic ordeal. You know, it makes you sick that that this could have been a dog that somebody loved and had a good home. Police say two other teens, including a 17-year-old male and a 16-year-old girl, watched Stott set the animal on fire. They've both been charged with criminal trespass, were turned over to their parents, and will be prosecuted in the juvenile court system. Stott's, however, probably won't get a break. We will do what we can to keep this guy in jail. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.